Boxing Day, Manchester United were first into bat and first into their stride at Chelsea. Mark Hughes meeting Ryan Giggs Cross in his stride to give them a lead, which was doubled in the opening minutes of the second half of the game. Chelsea fans will believe to their dying day that Frank Sinclair was unlucky to concede the penalty that ensured United's cup final success last May, but there weren't too many dissenting voices when he tripped Roy Keane last Monday. Eric Cantona reeled off his party piece without fuss, and United were some way towards putting their pre-Christmas defeat by Nottingham Forest behind them. But again, they were to concede a couple of goals. The first, somewhat unfortunately, Gary Pallister, just trying to reach past Mark Steen to pinch the ball, was penalised. And with more than half an hour to go, John Spencer stepped up to steer Chelsea back into the game. The team that did its darndest to throw obstacles in United's title path with two wins last season suddenly looked capable of putting the brakes on the champions again. Nigel Spackman's inviting pass, Paul Furlong's inviting cross, and substitute Eddie Newton got above keeper Gary Walsh to equalise. No doubt amidst all the celebrations, one or two wise men on the Chelsea bench were warning of the sucker punch that so often lands just after you've scored. But they couldn't quite make themselves heard. And within a minute, and with a hand from a couple of helpful ricochets, United duly won the game with a goal from Brian McClare. Early Boxing Day afternoon, and the defending champions on top of the table for only the second time this season.